Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're going over another one of our practice real estate exam questions. If you are new here, we post a new question every Monday through Friday. If you have any questions you want me to cover, you can comment the question down below or send us an email with a question. Of course, if you want to try these exam questions out yourself, as well as tons of others, go ahead and head over to our website and uh, yeah, you can get started there. This series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so don't forget to click that like button and subscribe, that way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyway, guys, Guys, let's just jump right into it. So today's question has to deal with appraisal and value. So the question states, which of the following can be achieved by dividing the price of the property by the rent that is produced? And it gives us four options. A, interest rate. B, capitalization rate. C, the economic value. Or D, the gross rent multiplier. So as always, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, think it over. Uh, so go ahead and do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with an answer, uh, and hopefully, of course, it's the right answer. So what is the right answer? The right answer for this one is D, the gross rent multiplier. So this is a little bit of a short question, um, but something that's super important because you have to be familiar with the formula as well as you need to be familiar with gross rent multiplier. But gross rent multiplier is found by dividing the price of the property by its rent. So this is almost verbatim the definition, and it's asking you what you know, what is this term or what is this formula? And it is the gross rent multiplier. Now, the gross rent multiplier comes into uh, a lot of different situations and problems that uh, are going to show up on the real estate exam. Of course, the traditional one, of course, is going to be like the math related one where you have to figure out maybe how many years it takes uh, to pay off a loan uh, in, in rent or gross rent, or maybe, uh, you know, the specific rating that a uh, rental property might get via the GRM, things like that. There's a bunch of different questions that have to do with gross rent multiplier. I believe we did cover one or two already. Um, but again, this question is just strictly asking, um, what is this specific definition? And of course, we found out it is the gross rent multiplier. So super important to understand. Uh, and hopefully you guys got that one correct. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Please like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Of course, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. Till next time, guys.